as providing for all your needs for listening to them and interpreting the secret of dreams by your key races and the chapter one okay, dreams Everybody knows that there are three things in importance to the phenomena of sleep. Before we can begin to comment that even analyze dreams, whether our dreams are symbolic or otherwise, we must first divert from our mind materialistic conceptions of what, of what the individual will call man and the ethos. The external or physical man is no more the man than the poet he witnesses. The physical man is only a instrument. Which of which the real inner man, or soul, expresses itself in the physical universe. Various, various materialist theories have been in the past, trying to explain the mighty phenomena of dreams. Theories have always, always been more or less unsatisfactory. Because the materialist tries to explain the real and real and the existence, the fact that it was in your spirit, spirit this explanation will only be unsatisfactory. Streams of force are very shallow. As soon as the senses become torpid, the inner man will draw on the outer. There are three different ways in which afford this separation. First, first, natural sleep. Second, the way of sleep, such as it, such as it, mesmerism, trance. Third, death, death. In the above two cases, the man is only left his physical temporary, whereas the death is like a forever forever. In the case of the death, the way in which he sells the body, as seen by the avoidant vision, is just broken, but in France or seriously, it is being released. The real man is the man in control. He now functions in his astral body, which becomes the vehicle for his progressive consciousness. Just as the physical body is true, first by the consciousness. The state of consciousness is not an island where the air is in its reality. It is only temporarily suspended. Just the same as the state of the area. Man is fully conscious in the astral regions, flowing in the body of the astral man. This astral body is in the physical and extends a little beyond it. The astral world is here and now. And not in some remote region above the clouds, as so many men can imagine. Man is a soul, man is a soul, he has a body. He expresses as himself in three worlds. Then he comes in a physical body, he exceeds his physical soul, and then he goes. Just as he has to penetrate the physical world, the mental can penetrate the astral world. The astral world in which man functions is during his sleep. The body is full of desires, and he expresses his desires in his emotions in the physical body. The astral body in which man functions is a very subtle matter. It resembles the physical body. In fact, it is in the actual production of it, but it can only be seen by the way of vision. When a man leaves his body and is free for death, the spirit is in the physical body. Or will the one rest to be created to, to enable it to undergo the strenuous daily toil of his physical There is a new example. Let, let a man go to bed at 10 o'clock. Let him sleep to wake until 6 next morning. The ordinary man will awaken feeling refreshed, fresh, and ready for his daily toil. Let, let him go to bed at 10. Lie awake all night. Next morning, next morning, next morning he will not feel refreshed. Let's go to bed and lie awake night after night after night for two weeks. What will be the result? He will be physical wreck. Although he may have seven hours lying in bed, he will not be able to be recuperated and reflect unless he has had his natural sleep sleep and this can only be the past. When the soul is here with the loss of the physical body, the physical body is not empty. And as long as our materialist deciders who endeavor to return dreams fail to grasp the nature of the inner man, the weak the real self, they will be forever groping in the dark. The first question is actually naturally lies in the mind of the way this. How can this man leave his body and sleep? I can continue its natural function, such as digestion, 
circulation of blood, etc. We do not consciously direct the circulation of blood or any of the natural, natural bodily functions during our life sustain. These things go on whether we will them or not. Although the spirit leaves the body as we have previously stated, there, there is a magnetic connection to the soul and the body. This magnetic connection acts on the sympathetic nervous system and the cerebral spinal, which controls the functions of the human organism. In sleep, the astral man may be in the immediate vicinity of his sleeping, recuperating, or invisible body, or in the thousands of miles of space. The magnetic connection still exists, regardless of the distance. No matter what distance the astral man is away from his physical body, he can return to it with a repeated body form. As the same saying is, for the soul that fixes the brain the brain's own instrument of the soul. How can the body be attributed to subconscious consciousness? For when our mind is centered on a certain train of thought, these thoughts are apt to filter through. The subconscious memory cannot be truthfully truthfully called a dream, for it is only a memory of something we have previously perceived in reality or imagination. One only has to examine the subconscious traits in order to realize the truth of the passing. Telepathy does not explain the thoughts of our dreams, for just as it is possible for minds to receive telepathic thought transference. It is also possible for the so-called dead to have telepathic communication with the living. For thought is a power, its limitation is unknown. While many of our dreams may be traced to subconscious memory or to left telepathy and have the material affairs of the day long, others are as valid as the astral happenings of the ego while functioning in the etheric regions. There we meet not only the misnamed dead, but also, but also many of those who are still in the physical body. And let me state here that many of our difficult problems of physical life are worked out in sleep. The old axiom, I will go to sleep on the body, has a greater, has a greater significance than is generally attributed to it. For sleeping dream dreams have had more to do in shape of your lives than you have any idea of. You can go to school and sleep, sleep, and study anything you are studying in physical life. And, and make marvelous progress. This is trying to train, 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 however. Keep the free for evil thought and thoughts to the essential to enable the serious and sincere investigator to enter a larger state of consciousness. Object of for thoughts of our waking state, state have a more or less effect on the ego than seeing the object of human space. Every human a certain train of thought, whether a business or pleasure, pleasure. this train of thought has a tremendous influence on the ego. In fact, it shapes one's destiny. Choose well your thoughts, for your choice is brief and yet ends. And animal thought in thought power. Man may be said to be two lives: one when he is fully awake, and the other when he is asleep. These two lives, of course, is the expression of his one existence. The highly God, spiritual man. As he retires the material world during sleep, realizes, realizes a state of spiritual bliss that is far beyond the stage of ordinary mortals. Man, man has been in the habit of looking at himself as a mass of flesh and muscle, with a slight chance of realizing the divinity within him. As the earnest soul gradually arouses himself, he finds his proper place in the universe. For within him are all the attributes of deity. And when he reaches the end of the long and familiar journey that is ahead of him, he will find himself and know what he is destined to be a god. It was something that I always felt was very helpful.